my condition is I have internal bleeding um, that happens to me every every second day in the, in this country at the moment, and I'm the only one in Australia that carries this one type, which is uh, factor seven, with this meditation to like help it heal and connect with my body more. Okay, now we're going to start. So close the eyes. Observe the flickering in your eyes, because when we first start to do this, it's usually flicking intensely. The flicking eyes usually mean that the mind is really, really intense. So when we can focus and bring stillness to the eyeballs, the eye gaze, the mind will naturally calm down as well. So get yourself comfortable, back straight, shoulders rolled back, and then we're taking five breaths and holding at the top. Let's start with the first breath. So breathing all the way in. And then hold. Keep holding until you release and then release it all out. But until then, just hold the breath, but relax the whole body. Charles, you're still holding? Yeah. Wow. I'm on. Yeah, I'm holding. I'm about to release. Okay. So now release, empty out the lungs. That was incredible, dude. That was like 10 minutes. It wasn't, but that was really, really insane. Okay. Yeah. Wow, dude. Well, I think we can just do two more times. The second time, Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go again. So now breathe all the way in, back straight. Hold. Place your attention on the eyes, just to calm the eyes. When the eyes are calm, the mind is still. So just place your attention on your eyes and hold the breath. release now okay all the way out 
empty out the lungs dude that's incredible level of breath hold final time so now breathe all the way in when you're ready take your time relax release the shoulders hold the breath relax the shoulders relax the legs relax the chest and the arms and the eyes just maintain the back straight and hold the breath Release. Nice. Release it all. Empty out the lungs. Okay. Nice. Now you can open up the eyes. How, how's that, Charles? You, yeah, you feel that was good? good. Yeah. yeah that's good. You feel like you've shifted states from before to now? Yeah, like, I definitely felt like, um, where like we you concentrate your eyes when you said about how um you know it was flickering and stuff like that and you want to focus on that to relax it it um yeah it was really good i, I felt that and i was really uh you know checking that out until i, I saw the shifting you know nice. mind just relaxing my whole body and just like yeah nice you know recenting itself yeah yeah nice yeah. Okay. Okay, good. So now we move on to part two. And so this is where we express the areas in our lives that we wish to bring the healing to. So yep. once again, please close your eyes and then just relax. Mm -hmm. Keep the back straight because that's where the energy is. You have you yep. have, you can relax your entire body, shoulders, everything relaxed, but just keep the back straight and and then you can start to tell me with your eyes closed so you're just focused on your inner world which areas mm -hmm. of your life do you wish to bring the healing to and just talk to me about it what about it and where does the problem stem from how does it make you feel and we just start from there we just go from there so which areas so, of your life yeah. Areas of my life, like um, like a, like my body, my health condition. Y yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I, I have hemophilia. I have hemophilia factor seven deficiency. Uh, factor seven. So um, I am. Uh, there is there's only a quite uh, only a, a few numbers of us in the. In, the, in this country at the moment, and I'm the only one in the show that carries this one type, which is uh, factor seven. Um, so I'm quite unique, and the problem with my condition is I have internal bleeding um, that happens to me every every second day. Uh, I have to take this medication, factor seven, to, um, to stop it from bleeding. Uh, been on it for 36 years now. Um, I've survived, you know, many uh, internal bleedings and near death 
experience. Um, so I am at 36 now. I can say I'm much more stronger. My bleeding is not as bad as before, but um, I still carry it and I still have to take the medication. So I really like to upgrade uh, my healing by, you know, channeling in like with this meditation to like help it heal and connect with my body more each day. Um, I I don't want I don't want to suffer. Okay, so let me yes. So Charles, yeah. um, you say that your internal bleeding happens every second day. Yeah. So where where is the bleeding? Oh, it's all over. It's, and uh, can you feel it? Um, be not not as much now. Like actually, no. I never usually really feel it. Sometimes it just happens. Like it can happen when you're sleeping. Uh, it happens spontaneously. You know, uh, whenever it wants. Um, but yeah. It so just, it so just like happens. keeping the eyes closed and then responding with your intuition. Where do you feel that this condition lies in your body? I mean, like, mm. when you think of this condition, your, your health condition, where, where does the sensation rest in your body? Do you feel it? When you bring up the thought of this condition, do you feel the sensation or the intensity of the thoughts? Are located mm. where in your body? I think in some parts of the. Um, uh, I, I I believe like it could be it's in in my stomach. Yes. In my stomach. Um, uh, maybe brain. The brain because that's where it, it basically started from yes uh from birth yeah so yeah okay from birth there. yeah okay i think right now really don't feel like we need to move on to another area that needs healing because i feel like this requires your immediate attention let's just focus on this today yeah i feel like we could be focused on this focusing on this for a very long time and not even need to move on to the next thing because I feel like once we can heal this, every other part of your life will improve. Yeah. So before we move on to the healing at, uh, part, um, what do what are your expectations for healing? Um, like from a scientific perspective or a medical perspective, and then from your personal belief perspective, what do you think your optimal health level is? right now hmm where is it i mean like i think it, like um, what how what is your ideal state that you can posit, that, that you can release yeah yeah that you can realize uh, um do you think you can be perfect and completely rid yourself from this condition yeah yeah i believe like i believe i can be truly truly happy with 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 uh you know what i have you know if if i can keep on um you know just doing doing what i'm doing right now but i mean you know? like with the health condition um, are we able do 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 you feel that it's possible to completely heal this medical condition so that it's gone uh, forever oh well that <laughs> from a that scientific I, I from a from a medical from perspective scientific? from a from a medical um, perspective is that a, is that a genetic not. problem? What's the root of the problem? It is a genetic. Yeah, it's genetic. Well, my par my parents are both carriers. They're both carriers. So um, I'm the one that just, uh, suffers from it at the moment. So I'm not sure if there's any cure for it. In the scientific, um, they haven't found a cure yet. Uh, I've been on the same medication all my life. That only just only just stops the bleeding um every second day so um that's the only that's what they have at the moment um 
Um, so so where what exactly is the problem though is it like because the 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 medicine will never heal the the problem because it's only just addressing the symptoms right mm -hmm. but what is causing the internal bleeding are you lacking a certain vitamin or is there something um um it's blood vessels okay yeah so my body's not making enough like um blood white cells and why yeah. why is it not creating white blood cells uh, not that i remember hey um um <laughs> uh, i'm not i'm not sure how it's not how it works but i just know i just know that it doesn't it doesn't form doesn't create that blood white cells enough for me for me to to yeah but you're still you creating some, right? You're creating some. Yes, okay. I am still creating some. Yes, my movement. I think, I think my movement, exercise, stuff like that, does help, help it a lot to, you know, pump the blood. Okay, so so that means that there are two ways we can solve this problem at its root. The first way is to um, create more of what produces the white blood cells create more of mm -hmm. that uh, whatever it may be scientifically mm -hmm. or like me medically we don't know what well, me and you don't know but we are going to try like if we can create more of what produces that then we can create more blood cells the second way would be to eliminate or to um, prev yeah to eliminate or dissolve the thing that is restricting the production mm -hmm. so okay so just keep that in mind that there's two things that we can do at, at its core at, at its root fundamental level is to create more of that substance that produces white blood cells the other one is maybe you have something that is restricting the production and we have to eliminate that mm -hmm. because uh, because if we can address one or the other then your production will, will can can normalize. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and so when I asked you where is the sensation coming from, when you say when you think of uh, this uh, health condition, what is the cord again? Mm -hmm. What's the medical term again? Hemophilia. He hemophilia. Yeah. Yeah. Hemophilia. So when you think of hemophilia, you mentioned that the sensation is in the stomach, the gut area, as well as the, the brain gut, area. The brain. So yeah. that that could very well be where the production or the restriction is working. So now what we are going to do, we're going to keep our eyes closed and then now focus on the eyes focus your attention on the eyes keep breathing we are going to manifest light so keep, just keep breathing with every breath in you bring the energy into the eyes with every breath out you release and relax your body the reason why this is so important is when we when we relax the body we can immediately become mindful of where the where the strain in the body is where the discomfort is where the stress is when we start to relax we can feel where is not relaxed where is stiff or where is strained and those are the areas in the body that we have to dissolve we have to heal and when the body feels amazing that means that the body is free flowing and all the afflictions and all the poisons or the or the problems will have been dissolved so right now if i ask you one more time when you think of hemophilia where in the body do you feel the sensation is the intensity of the contraction or the intensity of the sensation where is it is it still in the stomach and the brain it is there it is there and i feel the sensation like from my back yes my back yeah i definitely feel my back okay like, very very tense and 
Yeah. Okay. So now, with the eyes, we are going to bring the light into the eyes so that later on we are going to direct the light with the eye gaze. But first we have to just keep breathing. Every breath in, we bring more light because when we are breathing, we are we are bringing the universe into the body with the breath. So when we breathe, we breathe in the light, the energy, and then we place it in the eye gaze. And then when we relax, we release every tension in the body. We just let it back out so that it's free flowing. Just focus on this for a while, breathing in. Build the light and intensity in the eye gaze. Then breathing out, releasing the tension throughout the body. Breathing in, build that intensity of light energy in the eye gaze. Breathing out, releasing everything out of the body. The eye should be starting to have more stillness. Should be become should be becoming easier to control the eye darts and the eye movements. And what we are seeing with the stillness of the eyes is just an abundance of energy, pure light energy that you can feel and see. Because the eyes are open behind the back lids, behind the eyelids, the eyes are open. We just can't see the outside world, but we can see the back of our eyelids. And there is where we are seeing the manifestation of the light energy that we are collecting with our breath. So now visualize that what you are looking at is just a ball of intense light energy. And visualize it growing tenser and tenser, bigger and bigger. It's just growing and growing. Making sure that the body is completely relaxed. The mind, the shoulders, the head. The back is straight, but the pelvis, the legs, the feet, the hands and the arms, the chest is all relaxed. So now the light is growing bigger, but more dense. And now we are going to place the light, move it with your eyeballs, with your eye gaze, move that big light into the area of your brain where you feel the tension is. And I will move mine into your area, into your brain as well. And we'll just let it sit there for one minute. Thoughts will arise in your mind and just, and that's normal because we are addressing a lot of tense memories and, ex, and su suppressed memories and suppressed feelings and emotions and thoughts. We are shining our light of awareness, our light of consciousness into the area of your brain where the hemophilia lies. Let's keep breathing. Let the light shine shine through your brain purify the brain breathing let the light sit there in the brain area when the thoughts and feelings arise just, just breathe out, breathe it out. When you have feelings and emotions and thoughts that are coming up as we place the awareness of our energy on the brain, just release it with the breath, exactly like what you're doing now.
manifesting, manifesting and visualizing the intensity of that light orb, that ball of light to just become denser and denser, brighter, thicker, more pure, more beautiful. That should be providing a lot of comfort and relief and positive energy and then just allowing it to just shine through. Where there is light, darkness cannot exist. And so as long as that light is where the brain is, then all the darkness and the dark energy within the brain cannot arise there. So let it come out, release it out with the breath. Right now you are connected with all the heavenly beings and all the powers of the universe as you are breathing it all into that ball of light. So this is the energy that you are using right now is transcendental energy. That's not just your energy, but it's universal energy. And let that sit in your brain. And just shine the light through every molecule of the brain. Every thought and feeling and emotion that arises as a result, just release it with the breath. Keep the eye gaze focused. The eye gaze should be focused on the brain. The brain should definitely be feeling sensations. It could be fuzzy sensations, tingly sensations. All the thoughts and feelings, just let it out. Relax. Remember when, remember to just relax the body. Relax the shoulders, relax the hands and arms and the face. Relax everything with the breath out. But I, I can feel that there's so much going on right now. This is really intense right now. Yeah. So, so just hold it there. Hold the light there. Bring that love that you have in your mind there. So that the energy that you are, that you are coping with right now is not one that you want to push away, not one that you want to fight or kill. Not or hit or, or hurt. You want to embrace it with love, accept it with love, hold it like a mother holds its baby and use the gentle energy to release it out. There's no resentment towards this negative energy. There's no resentment or anger or hatred or hostility towards this. We're embracing it with love and letting it know that my time has come to let you go. I'm ready to move on without this. I'm ready to move on without hemophilia and begin a new life, begin the next stage of my life in peak health condition. So just bring in your inner love, combine it with the universal love energy that you're breathing in. And then just allow that ball of light and love to sit in your brain. All the thoughts and feelings and sensations, love it, make peace with it. Don't create, don't create or react or respond with any negative energy and just relax let it all out
Now what we're going to do is move that ball of light. Move it. So now it's in the brain. We move it down the back of the head, down the neck. Move that big ball of thick, dense ball of light and love down the back of the neck, down the spine. And let it sit. Let it go down the spine and radiate throughout the entire spine and so that it's hitting every molecule of the spine and back and all the muscles there. Focus intensely, gently on the light energy that we are manifesting with this ball of this orb. Place that energy on the back and let the back completely relax. Let it sit there and all the energy that arises, all the thoughts, emotions and feelings that arise, respond with love, kindness and gentleness and then just breathe it out. Release it with the breath. The eye gaze should be very still by now. The eye gaze should be pointing to, at the back, at the spine. And so that's where you're directing all the light energy. Allow the back and spine to be radiating with energy, vibrating with energy. It's perfect. The universe is helping you. The love, the universal love energy is passing through you. It wants you to heal and be perfect as well. It wants you to be healthy and pure like it is. So just leave the energy there, dispel the darkness, relax the spine. If you're feeling that there's any tense, tense tension, sprain, discomfort in the back, that's where, that's exactly where you should place your light energy. You can scan the back with your eye gaze and move that ball of light up and down your back, left to right, and try to feel where the tension is, where it's hiding, where the pain and this discomfort is wedged and lodged. And then just release it, massage it with the ball of light. Breathing. Now we are going to place slowly move the the ball of Intense, intense light from the back towards the stomach. So now we're just moving it forward to the front of the body. Feel it in the stomach, the inside lining, the guts. Feel it everywhere on the inside and let it just radiate in your stomach. Keep the eye gaze still and gaze at your stomach from the inside. Place the ball of light there, let it sit there and just breathe.
release it all out with the breath. Maintain a mind of gentleness and love. There is no hostility, no resentment, hatred, anger towards what is there. Just know that you're ready to move on. You're ready to be healthy again. You have things to do, people to help. You don't need this obstacle anymore. You're ready to let go of this condition. Just breathing. You can scan your stomach inside and out with the ball of light to feel where the tension is, where the pain and discomfort is. And where you can locate it, just massage it, speak to it, send love there, and then just release it. Again, anything that arises with your thoughts and feelings as a result, smile, love, make peace with it, just breathe it out. Okay, so now that we've placed the awareness on the brain, the back and the stomach, now what we're going to do is visualize that ball of light and then expand it to feel so that expand it bigger and bigger so that it envelopes our entire body and that we are sitting inside this ball of light. With the eyes closed, visualize that we are we are sitting inside this ball of light that is perfectly enveloping us, perfectly holding us inside. And this ball of light is intense, is pure, is comfortable, it's purifying, it's bright, and we are just sitting there so that nothing that it passes can still exist. We are cleansing our body and every part of our body is being cleansed with this light that's just enveloping us, hugging us. It's and then visualize that the ball of light around us, surrounding us is getting thicker and brighter stronger remember to relax and breathe right now just relax nothing needs to be done You're just breathing and relaxing keeping the image of us inside the ball of light at our eye gaze so that we are seeing it Now, we are, as we are still sitting inside this ball of light, place our mindfulness on the top of the head. We are going to scan the top of the head down to the bottom of the toes and just relax every part of the body that is tense, that is pain, that is uncomfortable. So now we've got, the, we've got our mindfulness on the head a light of awareness on the head, the top of the head. Slowly move it around the face. So to the eyes, to 
to the nose, to the left cheek, down the chin, back up the right cheek, to the mouth, everywhere in the front of the face. And then bring it to the left, to the left ear. Shine it to the back of the head, to the right ear. And then from here, bring it down to the neck. Scan the neck. Breathing. Now go down to the, the shoulders, the left shoulder down the left arm relax everything that this light of awareness passes down the left arm to the left elbow relax everything to the left forearm to the left wrist to the left hand to all the fingertips Feel it completely relax and everything that it passes is being released. Now bring it back up to the right shoulder. Go down the right arm, bicep, to the right elbow. Scan the right forearm. Scan it to the wrist, to the palm, to the fingers. Breathing. Now bring the light to the back and scan down the back. Scan down the left part of the back. And then scan down the left, scan down the spine. Scan the right part of the back. And now go Bring it to the front of the body, scan the chest area, release it all out, scan the stomach, the rib cage, the abs, bring it down to the hips, keep the ball of light shining down to the pelvis, to the groin, now go to the left leg, left thigh, down to the left knees, there should be a lot of sensations on the legs, to the left calf muscle, release it all out, to the ankle, to the left feet and toes. Bring it to the right leg, starting with the right buttocks, then the right thigh, to the right knee, to the right calf muscle, right ankle, right toes. We've scanned the entire body now with our ball of light. Keeping in mind that we are still in that, in that circle of light. We are still sitting it, sitting inside. Now we just sit here for two minutes. Just breathing. Now, everything that we've experienced today, we want to share this experience with all the sentient beings in the world. May all beings in the world heal, be free from suffering, be free from pain, be free from affliction, May the, light of, may the light energy that we've experienced today be shared with everyone, all animals, all people, all living beings. 
May the world we live in be purified. May the people be happy. May we all be free. May we all actualize our highest potential. Thank you. Thank you to the <clears throat> universe. Smile to the universe. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Oh. How, how, how was that, Charles? <clears throat> that was beautiful. That was fantastic. That was, um, wow, really good. That, um, you know, gave me a lot of, um, a lot of my energy back, um, gave me a lot of peace and a lot of harmony. I feel really, um, uh, I, I definitely, uh, I just feel just really good burst of just, you know, that innocence. Mm. You know, um, that, um, yeah, um, the energy that, yeah, that I, that I remember, you know, uh, that I utilized a lot, um, back then. And, um, yeah, I, I haven't been to meditate for this long for, yeah, for a while now. And, and that, that was really, really, really good. It was really, it was really magical. Um, can I, ask yeah. you, can I ask you some questions? So when we were, um, were you able to visualize the ball of light? Yes, I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> that was really, really, that was actually really cool. Um, and that was, that's something really, really interesting because yeah, I, I definitely saw it. Um, it was, it was quite, it was just about the size and then it was just right here until yeah. it slowly, really, really, lit up you know yeah. wow um that was very interesting because i was very aware of it and i was in that second i was like oh what's that <laughs> you know wow. like what is that yeah what is that but then um you know as long until i put all my attention into it and accept accepted it yeah it, it was really beautiful it was mad and then were yeah. you able to direct that light with your awareness like with your eye gaze just directed to the brain how did that feel did you it was, feel anything? Yeah, I, um, it just felt really light. It mm. felt really light and, um, you know, uh, very light. And it's like, it's like, a, it's like a gaze of like, it's like the sun. Mm. You know, if you, when the sun kind of gazing at you and just kind of just, you know, just floating into you like that. And I, I really felt it all in my head, you know, and just, just like, it, feels, it pretty much just sat on, sat on my head like a helmet. Yeah, you know, protecting it, and it's just like, you know, it, it it made me feel like okay, it it, it had me, you know, mm. like I got I got you. The universe was just telling me like I got you, you know, nice. and um, yeah, and yeah, and I, I directed it to the back of the neck, back of my head. And I left it there and slowly just you know, pause. You know, each time mm. as we're breathing and meditating, and as you, while you're directing it, you know, I left there pausing it and then let it keep channeling, channeling up, down, 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 all the way to the gut, and it was good. And then, really good. Um, when you were placing the ball of light onto these areas, were you feeling um, like were there thoughts? Or feelings and emotions arising from that, or um, did it? Was it mainly, as you said, was it like a, a sense of lightness? I, I felt just a sense of lightness. Um, emotions was it wasn't as much emotions. Um, was very that was that's very interesting because I I I did have many thoughts, things where I just 
just drawing that attention and energy into healing. So emotions didn't really um, come in as much. Um, yeah, because I felt like it was more, it was really controlled. It was mm. really, you know, yeah. Nice. Which is really good. I thought it was a really good thing because it was, there was no distractions. Yeah. You know, there's no other emotion and distractions. So there's no other energy distractions. You mm. know, no worries, basically. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, so really what, so now like before we finish, let's just, um, we'll see how, we'll see if it's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's try something. So what we're, what we're going to do now is close the eyes again. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to revisit hemophilia. When you think of the term hemophilia, what sensations do you feel in the body? Hmm. I'm not sure. I just feel quite light about it, you know? Good. Feel... That's good because usually yeah. by this point, it'd be much more difficult to localize it like you did before in the brain, the gut or the spine. Because mm. right now, the sensations are not there anymore. Mm. So that's why I was asking you, if you were to revisit that, then are you still able to feel anything in the body? Or does it just feel like, for now, it's just not there anymore? There's no sensation in the body there. I feel right now, it's just there's no sensation. It feels quite light. Yeah, you know, easy on the body at the moment. So it's yeah. really good. Nice. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. That's perfect. That's that's ideal. If we can keep yeah. doing this, this is almost like yeah. a form of therapy. <laughs> but yeah, we can yeah, it's, yeah, see how it goes. Yeah. This is really good. Um yeah, I'd like to say thank you, man. Thank you so much for, for this. You thank know, you, Charles. Um, yeah. And there'll be many more, like let's yeah, let's keep doing this. Yeah. You know? And heal ourselves. Um, I would lo- really love to be able to be heal myself more and more and pass this on to other people and stuff like that, you know, yeah. able to heal other people out there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, do you have any final yeah. things to say before we finish off? Um, I'd like to share. say, um, uh, I'd like to say, you know, um, I hope all, everybody in this world is doing well and Please, uh, I hope everyone's looking after themselves and um, have peace and love uh, within themselves and be able to just share, if they could share that love to one another each and every day. Um, that will be very important and beautiful to do, you know, um, because, you know, all the world is kind of like, you know, everywhere at the moment and it's very challenging for a lot of people. Um, people seeing things differently you know, um, and handling things differently. So like, if, if we can have more compassion and love for each other, you know, if we can help each other and just pray for each other, please, if people can meditate more, you know, if the world can meditate each and every day, we, I think we'll be at peace, Yeah. you know? Um, we are, we're here to look after each other, you know? So I, I hope, I hope the world can, can hear that out. Nice, dude. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Okay. See well, okay, let's finish off here and I'll see you in two days. I'll see you. I'll see you in two days. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Byron, very much. Thanks, Charles. I love you, man. Thank love you, you so too, much. Brother. See ya.